So usually there are numerous meme coins that are being launched on a daily basis. But this one particularly caught my attention because of its 15 million market cap and its presence on both the Binance Smart Chain as well as the Ethereum blockchain. So this token is by the name of King Shiba and it's on the watch list of almost 33,000 people that are registered on the coin market cap. Let me also add it to my own watch list. Now coming back to the main point, is it really worth it to invest in this token? To answer that, I have a very simple opinion. For any meme coin to survive, they need to have a real community behind it. And secondly, they need to deliver real use cases to ensure their survival in the long term. Now the King Shiba token is working on the second aspect quite vigorously and they have covered the first aspect. They have done a lot of marketing and that is why we are seeing a lot of hype around this project. Now I found an interview of one of their main people behind the project who also happens to be the lead developer. And the interview is with the platform gate.io which is a centralized exchange and is currently among those exchanges that have a really high volume of trading each day. Now this happens to be that video which I was referring to. It's a 27 minute long video which you can see if you have enough time I'll put the link in the description but I'll sum it up for you. So in the video the developer acknowledged that they have a pretty basic website at the start. So I found on other YouTube videos which were made in the last month or even before that their website was a bit suspicious and they uh, it seemed like it was put out really quickly. So the person Kyle who is being interviewed he mentioned that the website has changed a lot over time and they have learned over time and evolved as well. Now in the video they also mentioned that they have a new version of their website coming out really soon which is going to be even more interesting than the current one. As for delivering on the use cases which we talked about earlier the person mentioned that they are aspiring to become a utility token rather than being just known for being a meme token. So the first step in that would be to have their own launch pad. So he mentioned that they gave around 35,000 US dollars worth of tokens to the launch pad on which they launched their token and uh, this is generally the problem with the launches. So they have to pay around 2% of the tokens to the launch pad which they dump eventually later if the price uh, spikes up but they are going to solve it with their own launch pad. That's what they mentioned in their video in this interview which we are talking about and he mentions that they are going to solve this problem and they wouldn't be taking any sort of contribution tokens from those new tokens which are going to be using their launch pad. Now the another thing that we are usually concerned about is that the token is audited by a trusted third party. So the person mentioned in the video that they are currently being audited by Certic and the report is going to come out really soon. So this interview was almost six days ago so I scoured the website and I couldn't find any Certic report as of now. But they mentioned that their launch pad would also be Certic audited which if happens would add to the credibility of the project but right now they haven't been audited fully. So they also have an NFT collection and they are working on a play to earn game which according to the person they are not going to give out any major details because they don't want to promise something about the dates. So the thing is that the website doesn't really have any demo of the play to earn game and they have launched the NFTs and the question might arise that Will the NFTs be able to integrate in the uh, play to earn game? So Kyle which is their lead developer mentioned that the first collection which is out right now it wouldn't be able to be integrated into the play to earn game but they are going to launch another collection which would certainly be integrated with that game. So we are right now on the token sniffer website you can copy their contract address from their official website and you could put it on token sniffer to see the details although I believe that all these details might not be correct at any certain time but the details mentioned that the buy fees is around less than 10% which exactly is 0.3% the sell fees is not less than 10% it happens to be around 10.1% at this time which is actually high and uh, the contract source is verified the ownership hasn't been renounced yet and the tokens that have been burnt right now of the initial supply are around 56.4% and the owner or the creator wallet contains less than 5% of the token supply which is a good indicator and the exact value is 1.71% for the King Shiba token 
and all other holders don't possess anything more than 5% of the token supply. The liquidity analysis shows that they have uh, enough liquidity present. So the next thing that the token sniffer website mentions is that almost 77.7% of the liquidity has been locked of which 11.87% is in trust swap and the date is unclear till when it is locked and 65.83% is locked in pink lock until 18th of April 2022 which happens to be just 118 days away. So usually the locking of the liquidity pool is actually a good indicator but uh, right now the liquidity is just locked for almost 120 days after which the developer or the owner will be able to access these accounts. So this is something that you need to be aware of while investing in these sorts of tokens and uh, it's up to you if you want to invest in that but this is the fact. They might lock it for another month or so, two months or one year or two years but right now this is the actual scenario. So another thing that you should know is that the creator wallet right now owns around 20.84% of the total liquidity. So this is something that uh, kind of raises the red flags but considering all other aspects and their marketing as well as their future roadmap and what they are developing or they promise to deliver we could potentially invest in that but uh, we should actually be careful because on the surface they might seem all catchy and they have a developer who is being their face and representing them on the certain uh, interviews but this is something that you need to keep in mind. Now these were some main things about the token and uh, the other thing that I want to mention is that when a token is listed on big exchanges like gate.io they usually do a lot of their own research before actually listing them. So that could add to the trust of people on this token and uh, it seemed intriguing to me as of now and I'll try to learn more about this token and if you want to know about this token I'll put the links in the description for you to see. And do let me know if you found something interesting about this token or if you have some doubts about this token or if you find something in your own research that you think you need to share with the community. So I'd be hoping that you do contribute after watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next video and till then do your own research and if you find any interesting coin do mention in the comments for the community and hopefully we'll meet in the next video.